Hey everybody, welcome to today's video. I'm Skylar, she's Hope, and together we're Loma Loscope. Um, my skin looks atrocious today, but that's all right, because I'm just staying home today. Had to get a Coke. This video is not sponsored. That's good. <clears throat> Ooh. So, I'm filming in this side of the house today because my son is sleeping and he's been a real cranky monster today so i do not want to wake him up i really do not like this lighting though like you can like really see how bad my skin is and yeah i don't like that i think i'm just gonna sit on my kitchen floor Ugh. i have an air fryer box right here i'll just prop you up with my coke can I'll just sit in front of my trash can so you can't see it. Um, I was not center in frame and it was bugging me and now you can't see my trash can anyways. So, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so uh, the winner did not claim the giveaway. So um, I'm trying to think if I want to pick another winner in this video or next Wednesday. We'll give them the benefit of the doubt and give them another week to uh, claim the prize. And if they don't, then I'll be picking another winner. Oh, Mr. Man. <laughs> oh, it's okay, honey. You wake up cranky. Do you see yourself? Do you see yourself? Look it. Who's that? That's JD. Is that JD? <laughs> it's okay, buddy. Let's cover you up, okay? keep you warm yeah it's okay buddy i to fill you in with my school so um i've really wanted to go back to school for the longest time so last year i did go back and i got um certified to be a teacher's aide uh when i did that though i did not do any research i just was looking into like career diplomas and school and stuff and i was like you know what i would love to work with kids so i went after that um, I didn't do any research though and in this area in the area that I live in they Like that job title is practically non-existent like none of the schools around here have teachers aides and They really don't make a lot of money after I got my career diploma to be a certified teachers aide That's when I realized that they only make like 23,000 a year, which I make more than that working in retail. So I mean it is something I would like to do but it's not something that can really pay the bills, which is really unfortunate. Like why do we not pay our educators more? Uh, especially since education is so expensive. Um, like for instance, uh, grand total, what my tuition is gonna be like for all my four years of schooling is $29,000. And we can't afford to pay like our educators more. I don't know. I don't know, that's a whole nother rant for a whole nother video. But yeah, I did not do my research when I did that. Um, I went through the whole program. I went through the whole course. I have my little certificate, but I can't really do anything with it in the area that I live in. So then I waited a while because I was trying to figure out, well, what do I want to do now? Like, what do I want to do with my life now? Because I mean, I love retail, but it's not something I want to work in like for the rest of my life. Like I love the atmosphere. Of retail like I love you know working in the public and like being with the public and helping customers and stuff but at the end of the day I don't really feel like my job really makes a difference in anybody's life and that's what I'm looking for I'm looking for a job that like rewards me emotionally I want to go home at the end of the day feeling like I made a difference so I gave it some thought and some thought and some more thought and I was trying to think of what else am I passionate about because I want to do something that makes me happy so I was thinking about like caregiving and nursing and the time I spent as a caregiver and I really enjoyed that. I was thinking about maybe becoming a CNA but I don't know. Caregiving companies around here they just they rub me the wrong way at least the ones I've worked for um, which <laughs> that itself might be a video because uh, yeah there was this specific caregiving company that I worked for that was just horrendous and of course I won't be like naming names or giving the name of the company because I don't want to get sued and I realize like not all healthcare companies are bad and there's like some fantastic incredible companies out there but my experiences with the ones that I've worked for have just 
left me jaded, I guess you could say. Not like blaming all healthcare places on my experiences with the company that I've worked for, but um, I don't know. It just left a sour taste in my mouth and experience with that company just really made me not want to be a CNA. I was thinking about the companies that I worked for before and I was thinking of like what I thought could be better about them. Hands down it was the administration because like the other caregivers that I worked for were amazing. Um, it was really like the management and stuff that I really think just needed a complete overhaul because they, they were terrible. They treated their employees bad, they treated their clients bad. There was some elder abuse going on that I reported that they didn't do anything about, but like I said, that's gonna be a whole nother video. Otherwise, this was gonna be like an hour long. That company's shortcomings and like how terrible they were is what inspired me to go for healthcare administration and be a better person than they are. I read a quote a long time ago, like a long time ago, like back when I was in high school and it was like, be the difference that you want to see in the world. So that's what I'm going to do. I want better administrators in the healthcare field. So I'm going to go and be a better healthcare administrator. My bachelor of science in healthcare administration, it's going to take four years and $29,000, but it's going to be worth it. I'm going to be the difference I want to see in the world. And as a healthcare administrator, I can be, you know, admin at a care center, hospital, um, clinic like I can <laughs> yeah yeah like there's so many different things that I can do with that degree though I am scared because and for my orientation they told me that each class is gonna take about 10 hours of work each week and I'm taking two classes at a time for 10 weeks each so that's gonna be 20 hours a week for 10 weeks, then a week break, and then another 10 week term. This little boy stole my air fryer box that I was using as a stand. Like he seriously stole my air fryer box. <laughs> JD. Oh, he's running me over with the air fryer. That's 20 extra hours of work on top of my 40 hour work week. The floor with J-Man. So that's 20 extra hours of work on top of my 40 hour work week on top of being a mom and on top of doing YouTube. So um, I'm still going to try my best to be consistent. Oh, now you got your rattle. Thank you, sir. This is why I lose my train of thought all the time because just it's chaos. Um, Remember when you used to be a quiet little boy? <laughs> Thank you for your goat, sir. Um, I'm still gonna try to stay consistent on YouTube because I really, really enjoy YouTube. It's fun for me. I really enjoy seeing Hope and what's going on in her life. Um, I really, really enjoy this. I do this for fun. I don't do it for anybody else. <laughs> I really enjoy this though. And I want to try and stay consistent as possible. <laughs> Thanks, son. Ew. You were the bucket. <laughs> okay, so I guess I'm just gonna be buckethead for the rest of this video. Um, this is why. <laughs> this is why I can never remember what I'm saying because usually I edit all this out. <laughs> usually I just edit all this out, but ow, you're pulling my hair. But, um, if I were trying to edit all this out, it would be impossible to get a video up today. Oh yeah, I'm going to try to stay consistent, but if I don't, please be understanding. Um, I'm trying to better my future and, uh, better my son's future because my success is his success. Um... Yeah, okay, thanks. On top of all that, we are also, we're not decided, we haven't decided, but we're also talking about having another baby. Nothing is official yet. I'm not sure if I want to go through that again because it was really, really, really hard to get our son. Um, and if you want, I can make a whole video on that, but long story short, 
I have, what's it called? In ov in ovular in. I don't think I'm saying that right. Um, which just means that my body doesn't ovulate, like ever. I think the only time that I've ever naturally ovulated was like the month after I had my. But since that one month after my son, I still have not ovulated. What I have to do if I do want to have another baby is I have to get trigger shots. I have to take pills and I have to track my cycle using um, ovulation predictor kits. All that added together can be expensive and when you like tack on how many years it took. I don't know if we're ready for that yet. Um, whenever we do have another baby, that is going to be the last one because um, taking the shots and the pills is really hard on your body. A person can only take the pills for like six months at a time then they have to wait a whole nother year before they can take um another six months of the pills because if you if you go more than that you have a chance of rupturing your ovaries and okay okay i'll wear the bucket i'll wear the bucket and um it also increases your chances for ovarian cancer and cervical cancer by like 25 percent so whenever so whenever we do have a baby again it's going to be the last one so again it's not like set in stone or anything it's just something we're talking about um i'm not sure if that's something i really want to go through right now or if i actually even want to do that again um maybe jane's gonna be the only kid that i have and i'm okay with that but um i don't know i would like to have another one just because I don't want him to grow up alone because I grew up alone oh god <laughs> that's not gonna fit over the basket son maybe it will um but yeah I'm not sure if I really want to do that again um, if I can never have another child, I'm okay with that. Jaden's enough, but, um, as someone who grew, grew up alone for the majority of their life, cause like I did have siblings and stuff, but they lived with our father and I lived with my mother. It was a lonely childhood, honestly. Yeah, so I think I'm going to end the video here. Um, I know it's kind of all over the place and really rambly and stuff and I apologize, but, um, I got mom brain. And <laughs> when you have a baby this young, it's pretty much like taking care of a little drunk miniature version of yourself. <laughs> so yeah, the winner did not come forward for the giveaway. Um, I'm going to give it another week and then I'm going to announce a new winner if they still do not claim the prize. Um, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. And thank you all for your support. Bye.